but it isn't just meat that poses health problems for us. I talk now today with Miyoko Shiner, who is the founder of Miyoko's Creamery. And of course we love Miyoko's. Uh, what do you wish you knew 10 years ago that you know now? Oh gosh. Um, you know, I, I wish 10 years ago, well, <laughs> that's that there, there's so many things. Um, you, sure. I, I think you never stop learning. Um, but you know, I guess I, I wish 10 years ago I had had the conviction that I, I do now that uh, we actually can change the world, the, the food system. I think 10 yes. years ago, um, you know, I was still thinking um, that I was sort of hitting my head against the wall trying to talk to people about veganism mm -hmm. and going plant based. And I had no idea that the world would change this fast. Had I known, I think I would have um, probably um, gotten started earlier in. Um, you know, in this type of uh, activism through uh, through business. Mm -hmm. and, yes, and, and I have been in business for many, many years, but just, you know, I just never imagined that it could be where it is today. Um, and a little bit along the same lines, is there one memory you have, one moment in time when you remember you made the switch in your head and you said, that's it, I'm doing vegan cheese. Is there one particular instance where you just said, I'm shifting? Um, you know, I've been a vegan for 35 years. Um, so in the very beginning, I was kind of a cheating vegan because I couldn't give up cheese. That was the hardest oh. thing. So I didn't eat cheese very often, but occasionally I would cheat. Um, and I just kept cheating until um, there really wasn't much information about how bad dairy was. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I don't remember what that moment was, but when I finally made the connection about, I think it was the, the, the babies being taken away. Um, it was like, okay, I can't cheat anymore. Um, this, mm -hmm. I've got to go um, vegan um, completely rather than, you know, so. It was like a bucket list for me. I thought one day I have to create vegan cheese and I will tell you the moment that happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna uh, bad mouth my husband who's in the other room right now. But um, go ahead. One day he said, I'm tired of not having cheese in the house. Mm -hmm. And he started buying cheese. Mm -hmm. And next thing you knew, I had cheese in my refrigerator and um, and so that's kind of, that was it. I was like, okay, this cannot happen. And that's when I started playing around with vegan cheese. I love this. So it was a line of self-defense. You yes. said, I better start yes. fending for myself yes. or yes. 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 